Hello friends. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on the measurement of capacitance using the D sorty bridge. So let us start with our problem. So our problem is we are given the four arms of a bridge arm A B B C C D and D A. The four arms are given to us. And we are given that the supply of 450 hertz is given between the terminals B, A and C and detector is connected between B and D. And under balance condition, we are given the value of the variables and we have to find out the value of the capacitor C1 and the resistor small r1. Also, we have to calculate the dissipation factor of the capacitor. So, let us try to solve this problem. First, we will draw the circuit for this bridge. We are given the four arms of the bridge A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. So, first we will see that what is the configuration of these uh, arms. Arm A, B is a capacitor which is connected in series with an effective resistance. So, we will draw a capacitor and a resistor in series with each other in the arm A, B. Then we are having four arms. This is C, this is D node. So in between B and D, we are having the detector. B, C, this arm is a non-inductive resistance R3. Arm AD, it is given that it's an imperfect capacitor C2 with an equivalent resistance small R2 in series with a resistance capital R2. So in the arm DA we are having a capacitor, we are having a resistance and another resistance is there. CD it is a non-inductive resistance R4. Between A and C points we are having the AC voltage source. So this was C1, this is small R1, this is R3, C2, small R2 capital R2 and this is R4. So this is the circuit for the bridge given to us in the question. We have used the information of the four arms and using that information we have drawn the circuit here. Now we are given the values of the variables at the balance equation at the balance condition of the bridge. So at the balance uh, condition of the bridge we know that the general balance equation for an alternating current bridge is z1 z4 equals to z2 z3 this is the general balance equation for an ac bridge so here if we have the value of all the impedances we can get the value of the unknown impedance z1 so this is z1 this is z3 this is z2 and this is z4 so we will write the value of all the impedances. Z1 is the series combination of the capacitor and the resistance. So we will write it as small r1 plus uh, the capacitor. So capacitor is J omega C1. Then we are having Z2. Z2 is the series combination of these two resistances small r2 capital R2 and the capacitor C2. So it will be R2 plus capital R2 plus 1 upon J omega C2. Then Z3 is the resistance R3 and Z4 is the resistance R4. So we have got the value of all the impedances. Now we are going to put their values in this balance equation. So Z1 is R1 plus 1 upon J omega C1. Multiply it with Z4 which is R4. Then we are having Z2. Z2 is this small R2 plus capital R2 plus 1 upon J omega C2. And multiply it with Z3. So Z3 is what? R3. So we have put the value of all the impedances in this equation. Now we are going to multiply this inside. So R4 multiplied with this we will get
okay now in this equation we are having terms which are having only the real part and terms which are having only imaginary part so here real part is there in these two terms and imaginary part is the terms having the j omega in them so we are going to equate the real parts and the imaginary parts separately so equating real parts we will get small r1 r4 equals to r2 plus capital r2 multiplied with r3 so from this equation we will get the value of r1 as r2 plus r capital r2 r3 by r4 so we have got the value of small r1 now equating the imaginary parts imaginary part are r4 upon j omega c1 equals to r3 upon j omega c2 so j omega and j omega they will be cancelled through this we will get the value of the capacitance c1 as r4 c2 upon r okay so we have got the value of the capacitance and the resistance that is the unknown impedance which was connected in the arm ab okay so we have the value of the uh, other variables given to us so we are going to put their values in this equation and then got the value of small r1 and c1 so small r1 is equals to r2 which is given to us at 0.4 capital r2 given to us as 4.8 ohms r3 is given as 2000 and r4 is given as 2850 ohm so through this we will get the value of small r1 as 3.65 ohms now from this equation we are going to calculate the capacitor c1 so c1 is equal to c2 c2 is given to us as 0.5 microfarad so micro is there so we are going to multiply it with 10 raised to the power minus 6 then r4 r4 is given as 2850 then r3 divided by r3 r3 is given to us as 2000 so when we solve this we will get c1 as 0.712 micro farad so first we have derived the values for small r1 and c1 and then we have put the values of the known variables and then calculate the value for the capacitor and the resistance now in the question we were asked that we have to find out the dissipation factor also for the capacitor so the formula for dissipation factor is dissipation factor is given as d1 equals to the tangent of the loss angle so tan of the loss angle that is del1 so it will its formula will be omega c1 r1 now omega we know that it is 2 pi f c1 its value we have already calculated and r1 we have already calculated so we are going to put the value of all the variables here 2 into pi into f f is given to us in the question as 450 hertz we are given that the supply of 450 hertz is given to the bridge so f is 450 hertz c1 we have already calculated it is 0.712 microfarad so we have to multiply it with 10 raised to the power minus 6 and small r1 is 3.65 ohms so when we solve this we will get the dissipation factor as 0.00734 okay we are going to put the value of pi also that is 3.14 and then we will multiply all these terms we will get the dissipation factor as this
So in this way, we can solve the problems which are based on the measurement of capacitance using the d sorty bridge. There is no need to remember the balance equations or the value of the variables. We can derive them by using the bridge circuit and using the balance condition, general balance equation that Z1, Z4 is equals to Z2, Z3. So first we have derived those equations, then calculated the value of C1 and R1 and then we calculated the dissipation factor for the capacitor also. So I hope that this problem is clear to you. Thank you.